I was spoiled by working on Batman. It was my first major television experience. And I thought that everyone in television was going to be that way. And it's not so. But it started with Bill Dozier. Bill Dozier, the executive producer, was a gentleman, a sweetheart. He would take your scripts and he'd read them and he would just correct spelling. He never, he, I used to say, don't you have any creative things you want to tell me, Bill? He says, I'm not creative. If I was creative, I'd be a writer like you. He says, I'm a producer. My job is not to be creative. My job is to know who the creative people are. And so he was so wonderful. And Howie Horowitz was wonderful. Although Howie, I love to act. So like, I would go into Howie's office and say, Howie, can I talk to you? He says, are you here as a writer or an actor? As an actor, he says, I'm too busy. As a writer, he says, would you like a cup of coffee? <laughs> I finally managed to get a part on Batman in one of the shows I didn't write. Um, I'll tell you about that later. Anyhow, the cast, Adam West, is very much like, very much like uh, a Bruce Wayne. He's very straight. He's got a very straight face to humor. He's a wonderful sense of humor. I used him in a, in a movie I did years later. Uh, Burt Ward was an ass when he was 19 years old. Um, and the primo example of Burt Ward was he was complaining to the producers that they gave him, uh, they didn't give him enough to do. No, they gave him too much to do, right? Complaining that they gave him too much to do. So I wrote an episode where he was kidnapped on about page 11 and not found till page 55. And we just cut to him a couple of times. So he learned his lesson from that. Uh, he, Burt at that point was married and then he was, uh, he was seeing, I think, uh, Vince Edwards' uh, wife, and he left his wife for that. And I married Bert to one of his wives, actually. I did, I did perform their marriage. You know, he married a girl who was about as old as his coat, and uh, that's over now. Um, but the, the guest stars were great. <clears throat> I mean, Cliff Robertson um, was wonderful, and he brought Dina Merrill, you know, his wife. I wrote a part for the two of them. Um, who do you want to know Robertson about? play? He played Shame, the Western villain. It was a case where I walked into Howie and I said, why don't we do a Western villain? And he said, like what? I said, you know, like Shane, we'll call him Shame. The reason I wrote it is I wanted to get a part from my son Andy, who was seven years old, as the kid saying, come back, Shame. And Andy tried out for him and didn't get it. Somebody else got it. Um, and so he did two of those. My favorite villain, I think, other than Catwoman, was Victor Bourne as King Tut. Victor and I were both grotesquely fat in those years. Victor weighed about 350, and I weighed about 320. To give an example, I'm 210 now. So I was about 320. And Victor made me laugh just saying hello. Just hello can make me laugh. He was wonderful. In later years, I wrote a, um, a Columbo for Victor, and they wouldn't use him because they thought he was too fat, and they cast Donald Pleasance in the part. That's the one that won five Emmys. Then I wrote a movie called Gold of the Amazon Women, again for Victor Bono. And they wouldn't cast him. They cast Donald Pleasance in the part. Same time, same night. started writing for Donald Pleasance. Maybe no, Victor Bono would have no, gotten the job. Victor passed away then. But I, I love Victor. He made me laugh. But it was just such a great experience because we had parties. Uh, the Bat crowd is still friendly. I mean, um, uh, uh, Yvonne Craig, Bat Girl, called me two days ago just to see how I was. I went up to Bill D'Angelo, who was a social producer, and we all stay in touch because it was just such a wonderful experience.